No way. No, 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 no. What up guys, welcome back to the channel. Cole and Jay here, and as you can see, we are immersed deep in the swamp, deep in nature. And you're probably wondering, what are you guys doing out there? You know, it's winter time, it's kind of cold. You know, what are you, what could you possibly be doing this time of the year? And we'll tell you exactly what we're doing. We are out here on a herping mission. Okay, so you might think that it's winter time and that you can't actually go herping, but that is not the case. There are several reptiles and amphibians that are active this time of year, and if you know where to look, you can uncover them. So today, Jessica and I are out here in the swamp. Okay, we're in a cypress swamp, and we are looking for an elusive aquatic salamander, a big salamander. Some of you guys may have never even heard of this salamander before. It's called a Western Lesser Siren. Okay, and these are one of the most bizarre and most unique creatures in all of planet Earth. And uh, we hope that we can find some for you guys and show you exactly why these guys are so cool and why we love them. So, you ready to go, Jay? I'm ready. Okay, let's go see if we can uncover some salamanders. Before we get started, I'm gonna show you the gear that we're using. A big necessity today is definitely waders or Coles wearing hip boots. Heck yeah. It's super muddy out here. And then we have this rake See, sirens are going to be in these pools of water under all the leaf litter, and so you got to rake all the leaves out to find one. But they're also super slimy, so we might need a net. So we have everything we need today, and I'm ready to find one. Let's do it. Smokes. Look at this tree, guys. Look how blue it is. Have you ever seen a tree this blue? Holy smoke. This is some just a sort of lichen uh, material on the outside of this bald cypress, but there's so many of these trees that have all this blue on them, but this has got to be the bluest one that we've seen out here. This is my favorite tree, and uh, they just keep getting better every time I see them. Hopefully we can find a siren. I see a pool up ahead, right over there, and I've got a good feeling about it. It's one I've always found a minute before. Let's go check it out. So this is the kind of pool that we're looking forward to rake these sirens out of. As you can see, it's muddy, it's got a lot of leaves, and it's a perfect place for them to hide and ambush prey. So over on our right, we have the main creek. When that creek floods, all this right here gets water, and all this water is here for most of the year, and these, and these sirens really take advantage of it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our rake, and we're just gonna dig down, and we're gonna rake it up as fast as we can, try to pull those sirens and the leaf litter up onto the bank, and when we see them, we're gonna grab them as fast as we can before they get back into the pool. So hopefully there's one in here. Holler if you see one. <laughs> Usually if there's one there, you'll see it, you know, pretty instantly. You'll see it slithering back out. But sometimes they'll get in these uh, clumps of leaves that you raked out. And you just pick them out real quick. Okay, let me, let me rake right here. It's okay if we don't find one here, because I'm sure we will find one somewhere. When you find one, you typically find many. Okay, I don't think there's any in this one. Strike one, on to the next pool. Sorry. I got it. Oh gosh, you I got, got him. I got one. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. I've got him, okay, he's in my hand. I'm putting him in this net so he doesn't get away. Woo, I got him one. He's not very big, but look at him, guys. That right there is the creature that we are after, and there might be more, and they get plenty bigger than this one. But this is the Western Lesser Siren, and look at it. Looks like an eel almost. I'm out of breath. I'm so excited. It's been a long journey back here to find one. Lots of raking to find this little salamander. Whew. Like I said, this is the Western Lesser si Lesser. 
This is the Western Lesser Siren. The scientific name is Siren Intermedia. And yes, this is a salamander. And what is so crazy about these guys is I don't know if you can tell, he's walking around in my hand. He only has two front feet. Get it? He has two feet, doesn't have hind legs. And these guys have external gills, which you probably can't tell right here, but what we're gonna do here in a little bit is get them in some clear water so you can see those external gills. These big, red, fluffy, external gills, which make it look like a juvenile larva salamander. But all adults have these. Oh, so cool, they have these really tiny, little bitty eyes. They have these really tiny, little bitty eyes because they're down in this really thick, muddy environment. Not really focusing on their vision. They have that flattened head, kind of spade shape that they used to dig down and get into the mud. And of course, they have this really, really slimy skin. It helps them just, just kind of slink their way right through this really, really muddy environment. He's so cool. There he is in my hand. How long is that? Like six inches? Maybe? Yeah. These guys can reach upwards of 20 inches long, which is a really big siren. I don't know if I've ever found one 20 inches long out here, but I have found some in the wild before. Out here, I think the biggest ones that I've found have been like that 15 to 16 inch range. So hopefully, we can uh, rake around a little bit more in here and find a big one. That's so cool. I'm putting them in our little bucket for now, and we will get you guys a little bit better look here in a little bit. Yes, I don't know how I grabbed that thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw them. It's got to, yeah. got to love it. Got to love it. Jay, you want to rake one out? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. We got one on the board. Jay's going to try to rake herself out one. What's good is normally when you find one, you find many. So let's see if that is true. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. I got him, I got him. Throw him on the bank, throw him on the bank. Let's get back. Okay. okay. Oh, drama. Give me a net. <laughs> you got him? Net boy. Net boy. Woo. Give me the net. Yes. Yes. <gasps> That's a workout, guys. Yeah, let, me, let me get that. Let me get that little mud off your face, sir. Oh. Looking crazy. <laughs> oh, I think I just put more mud on my face. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Oh, that was crazy! That was hectic. Woo, That's a good we one. We got him, yeah. It's a pretty good size. Let's, get, let's look at him in the net. Oh, wow. Look at that beauty. I'll tell you guys, these are some of the most bizarre creatures you could ever find out here in a swamp. Of course, there are always crazier things like Bigfoot. <laughs> but next to Bigfoot, this is pretty cool. Yeah, these are awesome. I've been digging all through this pool. And Cole's like, oh, let's go to the next one. I'm like, okay, one more try and then one rake, and there he was. Yeah, I had turned the camera off, and then I just, I just quickly turned it back on just in case, and there he was. I bet there's another one. I bet I'm standing, you know, right beside one. Jay, you happy? I'm so happy. Let me get the bucket. This we can is put so him much in the bucket. Fun. Yeah, we need to put him in the bucket. Yeah, let's get him in the bucket because we do want to show you guys exactly how cool these things are and what they look like in some cleaner water. Not even playing, guys. I looked over. I thought I found a siren. That is some sort of animal turd. Don't know what kind, but it looked like a siren. And I was happy for a second. Wouldn't want to pick that one up. Nope. <laughs> I see one. Oh my gosh. No way. Oh, no, 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 no. I saw his tail. Where'd he go? Oh no. Get the right back out. There he is, there, there, is, there is. Oh, oh my no gosh! Way, no way. <gasps> Number two for you. Woo! Right in the mud. Wow, look at there, he was just chilling. And this is not a very big hole either. Yeah, I just saw the very tip of his tail. I dove in after him. Holy smokes. Let me just look at him for a minute. He's about the same size as your last one, maybe a little smaller? Yeah, I think he's a little bit smaller. Look at him just slinking through the mud in your hand. Guys, this is so much fun. So I think that pushed our total up to what, four? I think we have yes. four. We found a little one off camera. Yeah. So we have four total sirens today. 
And this one was found on our way back. We decided to head, start heading back to the road. And wow, look at that <laughs> dude. So cool. Okay, Jay's gonna get the release on this guy. And what we wanna do, we're gonna show you guys just how good they are at slinking themselves right through the mud. Okay. There you go, guy. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> There he goes. Here's our other two sirens that we we're about to release. We have a small one and a medium sized one. This is one of our larger sized ones we caught today, but this is a medium sized siren. These guys do get much larger. Okay, I'm gonna put them back in this little ditch. Little guy in first. <laughs> and he's just gonna just make his way back Ooh. Underneath all the leaves. Virtually out of sight. Okay, I'm put this guy right here and see what he does. Awesome. Okay, we got one more in the bucket. We're gonna take him home. We will see you guys back at the house. Okay guys, I made it back home. I changed out of some of my really muddy clothes and I got this tank. It's a little five gallon tank and I just filled it up with some really fresh, clean and clear water. I, de I dechlorinated it so it'd be safe and suitable for the siren. And as you can see, I have placed this siren into this tank and this siren is a beauty. For sure. We really wanted to put it in this clear water so that you guys could really see how awesome and how beautiful these creatures are and just how bizarre they actually look. So like we mentioned earlier, this is a salamander. And we know this is not the salamander body shape that you are accustomed to seeing. Uh, this salamander is totally aquatic and it has sort of an eel shape. It'd be really easy to misidentify this salamander as an eel. And maybe you have before in your lifetime. And so also what you're noticing is that it has two front legs and it's using those two front legs to kind of propel itself on the bottom of this glass tank. But in the wild, they use those hands to just dig their, dig their way through the soft mud. Uh, which brings me to another thing. These guys prefer to live in really lentic environments, which is like a very slow or non-moving body of water um, with really soft mud bottom or really densely vegetated. So they can just dig, a, dig their way around, search for prey items, uh, remain concealed from predators, and just they have a very secretive lifestyle. There's not a whole lot known about these salamanders, really. Um, but also you are seeing is you see these little feather projections, this feather like projections coming off the back of the head. Those are the salamander's external gills, which it uses to breathe. But also you might have just seen the salamander came up to the surface and it got a little gulp of air, which is another thing that they do. Um, as far as coloration, you can see that it's kind of this olive gray color, olive green, olive gray color. It's got these really, really nice little black spots and it kind of varies on individual species or individual specimens. But this is pretty much the color you're going to see uh, depicted on most of these sirens. And also on the front of its head, you see it's kind of got kind of a wedge shaped head that also is really important for helping them burrow down into the mud and the very soft substrate. But it has those really pretty yellow lateral lines going across like from the side of its mouth up to its cheek. Those are really cool. And then they have teeny tiny small little eyes. You don't want to have big eyes if you're digging around in the mud all your life. So you'll see that in most animals that spend a lot of time underground or in the mud that they just don't have very big eyes and some animals don't even have vision at all. Um, I believe these guys can't see with their eyes. I don't think that they're blind. But they're just so cool. And this is about a 9 or 10 inch size uh, siren. It's not very girthy. They get pretty big and they get pretty big around. Um, the max size is like 20, maybe 22 inches long, which is a real behemoth. So I just read in my book right here that it says that juvenile sirens are olive green with little black dots on them and adults don't have the black dots. So that siren is a juvenile. That's really cool. I didn't know that. I said that the adults have black spots and I was kind of thinking about it. I was like, no, they, they don't. So that's good. Um, this basically is all it just says is not a lot is known about them because they're so crazy and mysterious. And we found one today. 
So if you guys want to get yourself a good field guide, if you're in Arkansas and you just want to learn your reptiles and amphibians, we'll link where you can get this book in the description below. And uh, we're just gonna keep watching our siren for the rest of the afternoon. Jay, you didn't tell me I had mud on my beard. You also have blood on your face. I had blood on my face? Oh, the siren got you. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I have blood on my face. I don't know either. I got, I got mud in my beard. You got mud all over your face. It was a crazy adventure out there today. <laughs> So we just got done uh, just showing you guys the siren, the siren of the tank, and I think, you know, we just can't keep our eyes off of it. No. And I think that Jay and I are wanting to keep it as a pet in the house. So before you guys freak out about that, that I have kept sirens <laughs> a whole lot throughout my life. I've always had a siren as a pet. They make great pets. I had one for like over three years one time before I eventually let it go. And uh, they always do really well in the tank. They always eat very, very well and they're really easy to take care of. And I think that this siren would make an excellent addition to our little our little Colin J zoo we have going on <laughs> in our house. <laughs> but the question is, what should we name this siren? So leave us a comment down below with your suggestion of what we should name this siren. Think creatively, think outside the box. We want the best name for this little siren. It'd be so cool. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. We hope you guys enjoy tagging along with us in the swamp on this little herping expedition. We were so excited we were able to catch our first Western Lesser Sirens of the year. And hopefully we can go out and catch some bigger ones for you guys. So if you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button for us. Leave some, oh yeah, and don't forget to leave a comment below with the name suggestion for the new siren. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel so you can keep with all our future outdoor adventures because there's gonna be a ton on the way oh, as the weather yeah. starts to warm up and all the critters start to get active. We're, We're Colin Jay, and we'll see you on the next video.